Hello! In this new video, I will try to demonstrate a new and advanced feature of Capilla, which is called Title Blocks. By doing this, we will also see how we can uh, get some information, some relevant information from Capilla with the Axileo query language, AQL. So, enjoy! Okay, so I would like now to uh, demonstrate first the use of AQL requests on the Capella model by the use of the interpreter which is inside Capella. And then we will try to use these AQL uh, requests to create some uh, nice new title blocks. And the idea would be to um, to try, in fact, to get um, for a functional chain which is defined at system analysis level the list of physical components that are needed to implement it. Both behavior components, the blue ones, and yellow components, uh, the nodes. Okay, so the first thing is to open the interpreter window which can be done by going to Window, Show View, Other, Other Interpreter. Okay, now you, you get an interpreter, a serious interpreter, which can evaluate AQL uh, request. AQL stands for Axelio Query Language. So, for instance, if I select a functional chain at physical level and I want already to know which components are involved, um, it's not so easy just by looking at the semantic browser, for instance. If I select the acquisition functional chain here, I will see, okay, I will see the behavior blue components, T sensor, P sensor, embedded control software, weather data processing software. But I will see also the external actors, which may not be very interesting, in fact, because I will not have to provide them to my customer uh, to demonstrate that I've implemented the functional chain. And also, now I miss the yellow components. In fact, for each blue component, I would have to say, tell me everything about this blue component, tell me to which uh, node physical component it is deployed. So I don't have one request automatically computed by the semantic browser to do this. So let's try to create it. So the first thing to do in fact is it's, it's easier to select the functional chain in the Project Explorer for instance. So F8 with the F8 key with the F8 key Yes, we have the acquisition FC. And now we can start to create AQL expressions. Okay, self uh, means that you are uh, requesting, in fact, the selected object. Okay, so here we have the acquisition functional chain. If I, if I click on name, Okay, I will have the name of the object. If I want to, to know which blue physical components I need, in fact, the blue physical components are the ones on which the functions that are involved in the functional chain are um, allocated to. So, in fact, the best is first to know which are the involved functions in my functional chain. So, in fact, I can try to start to type involve something and with a control space, okay, I have involved functions. Yeah, this is the one I want. Involved functions and you see now that it selects, it, it gets the involved functions for my functional chain. So now for each involved function, <coughs> I would like to know to which 
physical component it is allocated to. So here, once again, I can use the automatic completion. It's about allocation. Let's type O, L, and control space. Ah, allocation blocks is not exactly what I want. So here, unfortunately, completion is not working. So I have to know my Capella Meta model. So it's allocating physical components. Okay, if I, made, if I make a mistake, the interpreter tells me that this doesn't work. So, in fact, uh, when you get used to, to this kind of request, you nearly know by heart all the interesting stuff. Okay, so here I get all the physical components, including the actors. And by the way, I can have the same physical component several times because, for instance, here two functions are allocated to the same um, physical component. So first, I would like to um, select only the real physical components, not the actors. So here I can try to select from the physical components. So on the list, I ask for the selection select and here I have to say I want to select uh, physical components which in fact are not actors so there is a there is a property called actor so I want the actor to be false the property actor to be false so here now I have removed all the actors and I have only have my physical components. But once again, once again, I have twice the embedded control software. So I don't want, I don't want a list. I want an ordered set. So here I just have to ask the um, interpreter to remove the redundant elements. So this is called ordered set. as is a completion here yeah. as ordered set okay that's the first step from functional chain i've got all the behavior physical components which are necessary for the functions that are involved in the functional chain okay nice now if i want to to get not only the blue components but also the yellow ones so the ones on which the behavior physical components are deployed this time let's have a look if if for each physical component i say i ask to which physical component is it deployed so if i just add i will copy this and just to show you, if I add now dot um, deploying, is there any? No, no completion, unfortunately. Deploying, it's not deployed, it's deploying. Deploying physical components. Okay, yes, it works. Now for the selected functional chain, I have the list of the three sensor rack, nanocomputer, HPC, of the three node components that I need. So in fact, I would, I would have just to, um, to sort of concatenate to, to group these two, um, these two requests in one. So to do this, I just copy this, in fact, I copy this one, I put it first, okay, and I just um, concat, I, I, I remove the deploying components for the, from the first one, and I want to concat then all the, the, the two requests, so there is a concat, concat,
function here. I miss this. Yes, that's it. Okay, I've I've asked for the first request and I concatenate to it the second one. So now I have first the list of the blue components and then I have the list of the yellow components. So for this functional chain, if I want to deliver this functional chain to my customer, if I'm the designer of the system, I need to deliver only these components. These are necessary and enough and sufficient. Okay? So that's nice. At the level of physical architecture, let's imagine now that I want, um, I would like this list of uh, uh, physical components, but I would like to show them already at system level. So let's select this, copy it. Now if I go to a system level uh, diagram like this one and I select the acquisition functional chain now at system black box level. Okay, F8. Okay, for this functional chain, of course, I cannot directly um, ask for the same request because there are no uh, physical components to which the involved functions are allocated. So in fact here I have to do something else. I have I have to ask for this functional chain not directly involved functions but I have to ask for realizing functional chain. Okay, there is a logical level functional chain with the same name, there is a physical functional chain with the same name. So here if I say realizing is a completion no unfortunately realizing functional chains I cannot say realizing functional chains and I select my functional chain yes so I get the logical level functional chain if now I want to go to the physical level functional chain, I have to ask the same thing again to go down one Arcadia level. Okay, so here now I am on the physical functional chain and now if I ask for the involved functions for instance, I will get I will get physical functions. Okay, so from my system level functional chain now I am at physical level <coughs> and once again I can ask for the allocating physical components of type behavior only the actors and so on so I get my four physical components imagine that now I would like to show this to show these components on on the diagram itself there is a new capability in Capella called title block. So this is a graphical object that will display information related to the current element. And um, this title block uh, can be reused in different diagrams. It's quite quite interesting. Okay. You can insert them. You can create them in one diagram and insert them in other diagrams. So let's create a title block. Okay. By default, it has a name. It gives the name of the of the model element. So let's just put it inside here, for instance. So on purpose, I've selected a, a, a system architecture block diagram focused on one specific functional chain. <coughs> Now I want to insert a line and in this line I will ask the tool to put the list of behavior of physical components. So I can remove I can remove this first line because the name of course I know it. And in this new line I will I will copy I will copy this AQL request, AQL request 
and I will call it involved or needed yeah, needed is nice needed behavior physical components and I copy the this okay and if I click on finish by magic now I have the list of physical components that appear here in the title block so I can make another compartment another line with the node components so let's copy this let's create a new line and on this line I will say this now is the needed node yellow physical components and now <coughs> and now I will I will um, ask for the same um, the same request but adding the dot deploying physical component thing so let's copy it from buffer dot deploying physical components and now once again I have I have my physical components yes that's good okay so title blocks are very very interesting <coughs> is a very interesting new feature it enables you to put information that is extracted from the model on, on a specific diagram so here for instance it's nice because on a system level diagram I, I can put some traceability data coming from the physical architecture level to, to show my customers that for instance okay to implement the acquisition functional chain that was specified at system black box level now we know exactly the subset of the blue and yellow physical components that we need to implement.